Hello plant lovers and welcome. Today we're talking about climate change, what it is, how it will affect your garden and what you as a gardener can do to help play your role in minimising imminent climate change. This is an important conversation to be had amongst the gardening community because our home, the planet, is under threat. The recent IPCC report, which is the world's most comprehensive report on climate change, has concluded that climate change is widespread, rapid and intensifying. You only need to watch the news to see evidence of climate change in action, the recent devastating floods in Germany and the forest fires that ripped through islands in Greece show the world is getting hotter and sea level is rising and the report attributes a large part of this to human activity and therefore we all have a role to play. As a PhD researcher, I'm exposed to research communities that are deeply concerned around issues related to sustainability and climate change. But today I'd like to look at climate change through the lens of a gardener and think about how climate change will affect our gardens and also what we can do to mitigate that. So climate change has the potential to heat up our earth This will result in freak weather, which will rupture ecosystems. Climate change has the capability to reduce the population and in some cases cause extinction in pollinators. Imagine a a world in which there are no bees to pollinate some of our plants, especially those crops which rely on pollinators to do so. That means that some of our plants will cease to exist This will disrupt food chains for both humans and for the animals that may depend on those plants. Therefore, within your own gardens, climate change has the potential to disrupt the number of crops that you have, but also to disrupt global food chains as well. As the world heats up, climate change can also result in drought and that might mean not enough water to water your precious plants so we need to think about as gardeners as frontline defenders of the planet what we can do i'm going to recommend some actions that we as gardeners can implement number one reduce your carbon footprint and in the garden that can manifest itself such as reducing the use of gas powered tools like lawn mowers and whatnot and trying to use you know the more manual human powered tools where possible in addition to that that might include um, minimizing your your trips in the car to the garden center and for example consolidating your trips for by going and buying loads of bags of compost in one go as opposed to um, you know, making multiple separate trips. So here's a recent picture. When I went to the garden centre, I actually bought a really kind of bulk buy of compost, um, you know, in a, in a bid to minimise the number of trips uh, just for compost. Another thing I do is that I usually uh, wait till I'm already out, for example, going to do my weekly shop, and then I'll drop into the garden centre. That way I'm not making separate trips. Number two, be water wise and aim to reduce your water consumption. One really great way of doing that is through mulching, which helps to retain water and nutrients uh, within the soil. And another thing you can do is install a water barrel. Number three, make your own compost if possible. I'm looking for a good composting solution for my own garden. But what this means is that, you know, there's less waste. And there's less trips to the garden centre in the first place. Number four would be to, if possible, and you have the space, plant some trees because obviously the trees uh, suck up the CO2. And um, so greening up your outdoor spaces is, is a really good way to contribute. And lastly, reuse and recycle. Gardening can be a very wasteful uh, activity. So try to uh, recycle your pots 
um, and avoid single use plastics because there is a lot of plastic used in the gardening um, industry as well. So um, be mindful about that. And maybe the last thing you can do is raise awareness within your communities. Um, you're welcome to share this video and start talking about climate change more within the gardening community because um, that is how we can take collective action. Okay, lovelies, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit different from my normal videos, but nonetheless very important. And as always, take care until next time.